Today we will talk about how to calculate areas of two-dimensional shapes. The principle of this is that we are looking for uh, the area, for example, if we are talking about a shape like this one, the amount of material that you would use to cover this area would be the area of this shape. Let's say I have a weird looking one. The amount of material I need to cover this area. Uh, maybe I have another situation where I have a hole. And then I want to calculate this area and so forth. Now, to calculate those areas, it is important that we learn how to calculate some basic shapes. The first one I'll go over is the rectangle. The area of a rectangle is simply length times width. Let's say I have a length, the long part is 3 yards, and the width is 2 yards. Then the area would be 2 times 3, and you always measure them with the same units. And the unit that will come out is, is going to be 6 yard, and you will say square, and you put the square sign. 6 yard square. You can also write it as 6 square yards. That's for the rectangle. Now if we are doing a square, um, this doesn't look quite like a square. It's a little bit smaller. So let's take this part out. So you have length and width. But the length and width are the same size for the square. So the area, let's say if I have 2 inches here, the area will be 2 times 2. And since both of them are inches, that is fine. 4 inch square. Or you can also put 4 square inch. The next picture I will look at is a parallelogram. Now two opposite sides have the same length and these two opposite sides have the same length. But um, for the perimeter remember you needed to know the length of these guys but for the area what you need is you need the length of the base and the length of the height, which is 90 degrees to the base. So if you have a parallelogram and the B is, let's say, 3 yards and the H is 1 yard, then the area would be 3 times 1, which is 3 square yards. Now you have to be careful with this one. Because if somebody gives you, let's say, 3 and 1, this is not the area. This is the area. Let's say this is 1, but this guy is, let's say, 0.5. Then the area would be 3 times 0.5, not 3 times 1. So this area is correct when that 1 is this height and this is the base but here in this case you have to take the height and the height is always 90 degrees to the base let's look at a triangle situation for the triangle it's kind of the same thing the base you need to know that's B and the height has to be 90 degrees to the base so let's say if I have a triangle like this, and this is 3, this is 1, this is 2, the area is not 3 times 1 over 2 or 3 times 2 over 2, none of that. That would be all wrong. But in this case, you have to take the height as the 90 degrees to the base, and it has to be 90 degrees. Let's say this one would be, I don't know, 0.8 or something. So let's say I have a base of 3 inches 
and the height of 0.8 inches. Okay, so the area would be 3 times 0.8 divided by 2. Let me do this in my calculator. 3 times 0.8 divided by 2. So that will give you 1.2. Again, the area, since it's in inches, has to end up with square inches. For the trapezoid, you need to know the length of the long side, the length of the short side, and the height that is perpendicular to those. You don't have to know the C and the A. So let's look at that. Let's say I have a height of 2 yards and the base is 3 yards and this one is let's say um, 2 and a half. So what you would need to do is the area is going to be the big one which is 3 plus the small one which is 2 and a half divided by 2 and you need to multiply that by the height which is 2. So these two will cancel out. You're going to end up with 3 plus 2 and a half that is 5 and a half 5 and a half what? Since it was in yards and all the lengths were, the, were measured in yards, yard square. So I don't even have the A and C in the picture at this point. Let's go do the circle. The area of a circle is simply pi r squared and you have to memorize that. The diameter you know is this length and the radius is half of that. Let's say I have an r of 2 inches. Then the area would be 3.14 times 2 squared, which is 3.14 times 4, which is 12.6. Now, what is it in? Since this was in inches, inch square. Now, what do you do with complex shapes? You need to go and you need to divide them into shapes that you know. So let's do that. Let's say, let me use this, something. Okay, this one I'll call it A1. Let's say I have this one. This is A2. I can do this one. That's A3. I mean, you don't have to do it this way. Um, Maybe this one is A4. And what do I have? I have here is a trapezoid and that one is A5. So I'm going to go calculate those and assume that each one is 1 inch. Okay? So let's calculate A1. A1 is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Since it's an rectangle, 9 times 1, 2, 3, 3, 3 times 9, 27 inch square. That's your A1. Let's do A2. A2 looks like a rectangle as well. You have 1, 2, 3, 4 times 3. 4 times 3, that's 12 inch square. Let's do A3. A3 is going to be base times height divided by 2. What is the base? Um, I could have actually taken it this way, um, but I took it this way. Let me erase this so that I see what's going on here. Um, you know what? I changed my mind. Let's do it this way because this is a little better. Let me do it this way and then this way. Okay, so that's a little better. So let's call this A3 and let's take this one out. So A1 is correct. A2 is going to be a little different because that's too big right now. So I'm going to take A2 is 1, 2, 3, 4 times 2. 
which is 8 inch square. Okay, A3 is the big, rec uh, big triangle, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times height 1, 2, 3, 4 divided by 2, which is 28 divided by 2, 14 inch square. So I did this, this, and that. Now I'm going to do A1, A2, A3, so here's the A4. A4 is again base times height over 2. Base is 3, height is 2 over 2. These two go away, 3. So what do I have? A total is then 27 plus 8 plus 14 plus 3. So go to your calculator, 27 plus 8 plus 14 plus 3 52 and what is in units inch square